guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently on Instagram, someone I follow was looking for podcast recommendations. And for about the past year and a half, I've really been loving listening to podcasts. So as well as telling my friend, I also thought I would just make a video about all the podcasts that I highly recommend and I've been listening to for the past year. In the past, I have been listening to podcasts on the Apple podcast app, but very recently, literally in the past like two weeks, I have decided to move to Spotify just because I already have Spotify premium. So it kind of makes sense. But also because I want to have the data <laughs> in my Spotify wrapped for this year, which is a little bit geeky, I know, but I love looking at data, if you haven't already guessed, from me making my YouTube analytics videos. <laughs> I've recently switched to Spotify. I don't like the layout as much and I prefer using the Apple podcasting app but I will really want the data, so that's why I've changed to Spotify. But there are many different ways you can listen to podcasts. I'm sure you can decide which one works for you. So the first podcast we're gonna start off with is my favorite one at the moment, and that is Shagged Married Annoyed by Chris and Rosie Ramsey. Oh my God, I can't even begin to describe just how funny and just how incredibly good this podcast is. So they've been going for just over a year. I think they started in January last year. It's honestly the best podcast ever. <laughs> I think I started listening to them August, September last year. So I had quite a few episodes to catch up on. And if you are gonna decide to listen to this podcast, as much as you don't necessarily need to, I would recommend starting from the very beginning just so you can hear all the hilarious stories that they have to tell, that the public have to tell, literally, oh my God, some of the stuff I've heard, I cannot unhear and I cannot believe. <laughs> so it's kind of broken down into like four sections. So it starts off with their like introduction where they discuss what they've been up to for the past week. Then it moves on to what's your beef, which is literally them discussing a disagreement or some sort of argument, you know, beef that they've had that week. And then it moves on to questions from the public where the public email in and have stories or questions to ask them and they discuss that. And then it ends with the celebrity question of the week. In more recent weeks though, they have added an extra bit, but they also have, let's talk about baby, let's talk about poop and we, <laughs> um, which is where they literally sit down and talk about feces or some sort of really, really disgusting subject matter along those lines. And it's not even their stories. These are stories that have come from the public and one in 30 people have admitted to having a poo in the shower. I just can't get my head around that. I don't understand. Where's it going? Are you pushing it down the plug hole? Are you picking it up and then throwing it in the toilet? What are you doing? If you are one of those one in 30 people, please. What, do I wanna know actually? I'm not sure. Let's move on. Each episode is about an hour long and it's just perfect. I listen to them on the way to work and it's just so funny, so, so funny. They're like one of the top ranking podcasts at the moment. So if you haven't listened to them, you better go check them out. The next podcast I want to talk about is kind of to do with what I'm wearing, Hufflepuff. It is called Potterless. Now I got recommended this podcast on Spotify, even though I wasn't listening to podcasts on Spotify at that time. So I think I've been listening to this since maybe August last year. It was definitely summer because I remember going to work in the summer and listening to this. And it's literally about a 24 year old man who's now 27. He's been going for three years and he's reading the Harry Potter books for the very first time because he's never read them before. And it starts off like him being really sarcastic and really kind of like, oh, these are children's books. Why does everyone think they're amazing? And then you kind of listen to him as he goes along and he just falls in love with it. And you know, obviously it's Harry Potter. You're gonna fall in love with it. Like it's magic. Who doesn't like magic? But yeah, it's so funny. So I think this started around 2016. So I've been really trying to catch up pretty quickly. I do find that I can't listen to like more than three episodes kind of within a couple of days, just because they get a bit samey and a bit long, but 
If you are traveling to work for a really long distance, I highly recommend them because they range from about 45 minutes to like an hour and a half sometimes. Um, but yeah, he literally gets other people on and they discuss the chapters. So yeah, each episode is a different chapter or a couple of chapters, depending on which book it is. I've just finished today episode 79, which is chapter 29 of the Deathly Hallows and he's on like a hundred and something so I've still got like quite a number of episodes to catch up on. So yeah I'm nearly finished Deathly Hallows and he also discusses what he's going to do once he has finished the books which in real time he has but in my podcast listening he hasn't. Uh, but he also says he's gonna watch all the films and talk about all the films and then he's gonna do like Fantastic Beasts and where to find them and like go through all of those and then Quidditch Through the Ages Basically anything Harry Potter related, he's gonna watch and put into this podcast, which I think is like kind of milking it if I'm being honest, but he's been able to make this his full-time job. So you know what? Well done, Shubes. You're quite clever. <laughs> if you like Harry Potter, I would highly recommend listening to this. And also it makes you remember all the books, which is really, really useful because I don't have a set of the books at my flat, which I'm really gutted about. And I'm trying to buy them from a charity shop, so yeah. The next podcast I want to talk about is probably one that you've already heard of because it is so massive in the podcast world and that is My Dad Wrote a Porno. It is currently on season five and hopefully season six is coming later this year. They tend to start in September and run until about Christmas time where they have a Christmas porno as it's called. It's hosted by Jamie Morton, James Cooper and Alice Levine. Jamie's dad wrote a series of porno novels which they literally just sit down and read and take the piss out of. It's hilarious and I highly recommend it as a first time podcast listener. This is what I did, this was the first podcast that I ever listened to and it was really easy to get into and a good way to get into the podcast listening world because you're basically listening to an audiobook because they read out the story with a commentary of them talking about what they really think of the story and it's just so funny and so ridiculous and just I can't I can't you have to listen to it. Also in 2018, I think, me and my boyfriend went to the live tour of this show and it was so, so funny. And yeah, definitely a good starter podcast and you can catch up and then listen to series six in September. The last podcast I want to mention in this half of the video is one that has only had one series and I'm really disappointed because I hope it really comes back. And that is David Tennant does a podcast with the name of the person. <laughs> so this is literally just an hour long conversation with his celebrity friends and they talk about everything to do with like acting, writing, like whatever the person does for a living, they essentially sit down and discuss. And for starters, who doesn't want to listen to David Tennant's voice? Like, oh, it's just dreamy. <laughs> but yeah, so that is obviously a very good thing. And one of my favorite episodes is his conversation with Olivia Coleman. I think those two together is just like a phenomenal pairing and I really want to see them in loads more things together. Each episode is with a different celebrity and obviously because he's quite a high profile celebrity himself, the guests he gets are also very high profile, so it's definitely worth a listen. And yeah, I hope he brings it back because it's just really nice to listen to his voice, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so the next half of this video is gonna be talking about podcasts that are more YouTube-based or YouTuber-led. So the first one I wanna talk about is Doing It by Hannah Witten. She also has a book of the same name, which I haven't read, but this is a really good educational sex and relationships advice kind of podcast and I've learned a lot from listening to this. Each episode Hannah has a different guest or guests and they touch on different subjects within each episode. Every episode is about 30 to 45 minutes long so they're quite easy quick episodes to listen to compared to some of the others. There are so many different topics that Hannah covers throughout all the episodes and yeah there's definitely something that you're going to learn from it because I've learned so much. Topics range from LGBTQ plus issues to sexual health and relationship advice to contraception talk. There's so many things to choose from and I guarantee you'll learn something new. The next YouTuber podcast I want to talk about is Jack Mates Happy Hour. I've been listening to this podcast for about a year. Now I don't listen to every single episode. I listen to about 90%, but there's a few that definitely don't interest me. Things to do with like YouTubers that I've not really heard of or I don't really care about that much, I don't listen to. But everything else I pretty much do listen to and it's so, funny. <laughs> the topics they talk about, the banter they have between all three of the hosts, it's so 
good. As the title suggests, each episode is about an hour long. However, they have started doing this year Jack Makes Happy Half Hour, which is half an hour, sometimes slightly longer. <laughs> and that's with Jack and Robbie Knox talking about a specific topic for about 30 minutes. There are so many different episodes that like you could just listen to one thing one week and then next week it'll be completely different. So you never really know what you're gonna get. Sometimes they'll be talking about YouTube related things. Sometimes it's something so random like meal deals. So you never know what you're gonna get, but it's a very good podcast and I highly recommend it. The last YouTuber podcast I want to mention is Wonder Women by Carrie Hope Fletcher and her friend Celine Schumacher? Schumacher? I'm not sure. Carrie Hope Fletcher and her friend. <laughs> um, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's lovely and I follow her on Instagram, so yeah. Wonder Women is a podcast discussing women throughout history. Now they only have like five or six episodes from last year and I really hope they continue it this year. I think she did say that they were planning some new topics to come out soon, which would be really nice because I wanna learn more about women throughout history. The sound quality for this podcast isn't as good as some of the other ones that I've recommended, but if you're not too phased by that, then definitely go check this one out as well. The episodes are about half an hour long. And the last podcast that I want to mention in this video is called A Podcast But Outside. Now, as the title suggests, they literally sit outside and record a podcast with the public. <laughs> Admittedly, this isn't one that I tend to listen to regularly and I've only just started listening to it within like the past couple of months from like maybe December time onwards. And yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's so chilled and easy to listen to. One of the things I don't particularly like about it is sometimes they have quite cheesy sound effects going on in the background, which I don't particularly like. But one of the things I do like is because they are literally out in the street and they ask people who are just passing by to come and talk to them while they're recording, you never know what's gonna be in an episode. You never know what someone's gonna say. And it's really cool. And they have this sign that says, come be in our podcast and we'll pay you $1 or something like that. And yeah, so they just want random people to come and talk to them, which I think is a really cool idea. But yeah, it's certainly not my favorite and I don't listen to every episode. And if I'm being honest, it's the last podcast I would go and listen to. So if everything else was finished, then I would listen to it. It's not it's certainly not my first choice. But if you like really chilled out conversations, definitely go check it out. Editing Becca here, so my microphone decided to cut out right at the very end of this video. Great! But you know what to do, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations for me, or if you're going to go and listen to any of these podcasts. And you know what, if you do listen to one of these podcasts and it's come from my recommendation, let me know, I will love to hear that. But yeah, subscribe if you're new, give it a like, and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys!